Welcome to another video podcast. In this video podcast, I'm going to be talking about the recent results in the Euros and also in Copa America. Now, the first thing relating to Manchester United, this is Luke Shaw's 10th year as a Manchester United player. And uh, yeah, he's a Manchester United player for 10 years. And his, his numbers isn't bad, but his injury record is very bad. And I would like to sell Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw... How is it that you're injured but you're still picked for England? I don't get that, man. That don't that that sounds fishy, is me. So, in my view, Luke Shaw needs to be sold. Enough about club football. Let's go to the current affairs of football. So, in the Euros, quite of a um, quite of a face yesterday, in terms of the fixtures. Um, Belgium drew their game against Ukraine. Um, I don't believe Belgium fans were very convinced of that result because they would want to score goals against a side that was on the verge of elimination and they got eliminated but they wanted to convincingly go to the next round you know scoring goals and winning that game and they didn't so that is that didn't look good for them during the game and speaking of draws england drew against who 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 england drew against um i can't remember i think it's serbia i can't remember but do what 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 have I been saying? I'm not just talking nonsense, man. South K is not a good coach, and I said it in my other video a couple of days back. Said this Belgian has stuff. This Belgian has a league of player this season, Premier League player this season, the one the Bundesliga top scorer, and work other good players in the squad. And this Belgian is still not picking the squad as he should. He's playing forward and left wing. Bellingham uh, as a number eight. I don't think Bellingham should be playing number eight or unless he has a license to attack forward. And he's playing, who is who him playing as number 10? I can't even remember who him playing as number 10. But the point is that he's not getting the best, the best out of the players that he's playing, man. Look at the players that you have. You know how much coach that would... You know how much coaches would cut off them big, them, them left big toe to have this squad that England have? And this Belgian not doing nothing with this squad? Nothing with this, this squad hasn't scored more than one goal. I don't think, I mean, and if they have scored more than one goal, it's less than three. Because they draw two games. Goalless draws we're talking about. The only player that scored for them is who? Bellingham, I believe. So, the, yeah, them gone through the next round, but they don't look convincing though. But see, let me say, let me let me let me put in this caveat because I have to be objective. I'm a play devil's advocate. You know, it is in 2016 Euros. You know, so Portugal didn't win no games in the group stage, right? They didn't win no game in the group stage. They drew three games. They drew. They threw. They drew all of them three games. See, and moral of the story, they went on to win the final. So, on essence, you can say, okay. They, no, they, they, they won, what, one game and they draw to England. So they may have a chance of winning it. But you have to understand, bro, this, the, the talent that... See, Portugal didn't have the talent in them squad, so they could have pulled it off. You see me? It, it was more of an accomplishment for them to pull it off. Because look at the squad, man. You have Eda as striker. I passed it. Nani on the right wing. A Quares, man, that was passed it. A Ronaldo that was more... Become more of a centre forward. You had Ralph, you have Ralph Guerrero. They are decent players, but dude, man. So it was more of an accomplishment for them to win it, especially against a star-struck France squad uh, in the final. So I don't want to be hearing this, 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 this thing about England. Oh yeah, you know, you know, England didn't do good, good in the group stage, but they can, you know, they can, they can, you know, toss their way to the final, dude, man. Belgium can do the same. This is a decent Belgium squad. No, it's not the Belgium of 2018. I believe Belgium has passed their glory days and they didn't have they didn't make much of their glory days to be honest. You see me? We had we have France who is see person may say, Oh, France is France is one of the best sides in the world. Dude, we're not one of the, we, we have good players, but we're not the France of old. Varan retire at a young age. Pogba Pogba is banned for doping. Benzema is not in the squad. And who else? Yeah, so... 
we have decent players still, but there is no connection. There is no unity, man. There is Deschamps is Deschamps is not getting the best out of the players right now. You have Rabio playing if him. What's up with that, man? This is, I'm a call. I'm a call Deschamps right now because I'm a friend supporter, but. Don't try to pull off what you try to what you what you try to pull off in the twenty eighteen World Cup. In the twenty eighteen World Cup, this Virgin played Matuidi as a left wing. Of course, Mbappe was playing on the right hand side and Drew was playing up top. Is me and I'm guessing the tactic was that Matuidi, although he was on a was playing left wing on paper, he was not given as much attacking license as Mbappe. Is me, Mbappe and Drew. They go do their thing up top, but he was an extra midfielder put in, which is a cold move, dude. Look at this squad you have, man. You had Coleman and Marcel should have been a part of that this squad. Is me, but you have Osman Dembele at the time in 2018. Come on, man. And I think he tried to pull that off in 2022 as well, man. <laughs> no, he didn't try to pull that off because he had Benzema, Mbappé was playing left wing, and and Osama Mendembele was on the right wing. So the point of this is this. The best squads in, in, in Euros are not getting the best out of themselves. The best squads that are getting the best out of themselves is Spain, because they won their three they won three games in the group stage. And um who else? And Portugal. Uh, they, dude, they, let me talk about Portugal for a second. Cause <laughs> dude, let me say this, dude. Portugal have good players, is me. Like I said, Portugal have better players now in comparison to 2016, and even I think they have uh, decently good players in as well as in 2021. But right now, given the result yesterday against Georgia, man, what's up with that, man? <laughs> you make Georgia go beat a two nil. Yes, you are through to the next round, but I mean. If you want to finish the group stage on a high, man, I know you're not playing your, your most key players. You, play, you left out Bernardo Silva, you left out Bruno Fernandes, and you left out uh, the guy from PSG, the guy, the, the midfielder from PSG. He never, he never started. I don't even think he got game yesterday. But you play other players like Danilo. Uh, Dan some person, the commentator was saying, oh, Danilo with the experience that he's had. Like, dude, which experience are you talking about with Danilo? Danilo is a... Pit part has been a bit part, a bit, a bit, man, I can't do it, a big, a bit part player all his life, all his football career life. And you're talking as if this virgin is like Alexander Nista or something. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't be doing that. But then play their fringe players yesterday. Joan, Joe Felix got a boss yesterday as a striker. But you see this virgin playing like a number 10, trying to create. Is me uh Leo suspended so he couldn't get no game and I thought and I think he would have gotten left out anyway. But the point is that the squad that Portugal has, they shouldn't have lost that game yesterday. And even if they lost, they shouldn't they should they shouldn't allow Georgia to have no clean sheet. I watched Portugal yesterday. And let me say this about Cristiano Ronaldo, and this is nothing disrespectful of him and what he's done in his career, but the Portugal players are fearful of that bridging, isn't it? Because, see, if Ronaldo is on the pitch and he's your captain, you're going to play to him. You're going to play to him. Because, you see, if you don't play to him, just like a crybaby, he's going to have a tanandro. And uh, the, most, play, most persons know of Ronaldo's tanandro. He's going to have his hand up in the air. He's going to have a theatrical uh, uh, face, fit, so... They're going to play up to him. They're not going to express themselves as they would if he was off of the pitch. That was why when he got uh, subbed off, you know, you know, uh, Ramos came on, uh, Jota came on, not at the same time as Ramos, but you know what he said? They, they saw him play a bit, a bit more with freedom, if that makes sense. They, they expressed themselves, although they, couldn't, they still couldn't make a goal, but they created more. Is me and even then, bro, the the slow passings, man. Why are you trying to play? T why are you trying to do? Just just get the thing direct, man. If I was a striker, if I was Ramos, and if I was uh, Jota, I would be frustrated, man. No, I can understand. I can even side with Ronaldo somewhat on this because as a striker, they're knocking the ball. 
two hours later, him still knocking the ball. Then pass the ball to the left wing. The left wing pass to the center midfielder. The center midfielder pass to the defense midfielder. The mid defense midfielder pass to the, 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 the right back. The right back go pass to the right. Dude, what is up with that, man? That is reshuffling. Why are you reshuffling for? Against Georgia? This is Georgia, not France. So why are you doing that for? Does it mean it's like it's like Georgia held them out, which they did, cause they didn't Portugal didn't score. But the fuck is that they have, they have enough creative midfielders, man, creative players that could have gotten a goal, and you had two strikers that was desperate to even touch the ball. I don't even think Ramos touched the ball more than five times when he came on, and he came on good early too. So yes, Portugal is in the mix at the round of sixteen, but if they want if 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 they want to progress and advance to the last four, the last two, man, which is the final, they have to play different football, bro. This 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 uh this slow passing is not gonna make sense. You see me? It's it's just not gonna make any sense. So yeah, Portugal lost two nil and big up to Georgia. That guy, that that number seven guy. I don't even, man, his name is like a password. I don't even know his name. But that bridging, that left wing bridging that plays for Napoli, the number seven guy for Georgia scored a good goal in the 90 second second. Is me? And yeah, they played as a unit, man. They didn't allow Portugal to break them down. They, they, they were just on point. They did what they had to do. And they got the result. And now they're through to the next round. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? You know? So, yeah, and that guy, man, hey, Ronaldo old man. I saw some photo of him in 2013 with the, this young, with the, with the number seven guy I'm talking about that played for Napoli. And this bedroom was like a young youth, so. You know, he would pass his steal, but we are so, man. Don't so. And this Ronaldo is in his prime, but like 26, 27, playing for uh, uh, Real Madrid. And now this bedroom is, is, is a big man playing football. Plays for Napoli, and this bedroom is still playing football. Funnily enough, <laughs> funnily enough, the manager for Georgia, Willy Samuel, played in the 2006 World Cup for France. He was a France player and he played against Ronaldo. And Ronaldo is still playing football. Again, bro, big, on, big up on your longevity, Ronaldo, but you have to call it quits, bro. I know you're trying to, I know you have a lot of passion for the game, but does the game have love passion for you? <laughs> You have to call it quits, man. <laughs> you have to call it quits. <laughs> you have to call it quits. So yeah, man. Um, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go to a different. So the game against um Turkey versus uh who play who again who played against Turkey yesterday, um our, our Czech Republic that got eliminated, dude. It's good that Turkey went through because Turkey have quality. As I mean, they have a good striker that plays for Bayer Leverkusen, um. Are they playing against Germany? Is Turkey playing against Germany? Is who Germany getting in the next round? Serbia? I don't remember. No, Serbia, I think Serbia uh, plays, against, uh, plays against England. I'm not sure. I, but what is Serbia even doing in round 16? But yesterday's game, I didn't watch the game because I was watching the game with uh, Portugal and them getting beat up by uh, Georgia. Is me. Turkey go in them game. They, were, they won their game um, 2-1. Um, so, yeah. Czech Republic got knocked out and the fight at the end man I, I was watching I was watching the last seconds of it and I'm saying what how is how this escalated and the Czech Republic players are fighting as if if them win the fight them go go to the next round bro what are you fighting for why didn't do that in the night in the 90 minutes that same exerted energy you exert at the end of the game you should have done that before the, the game go end up the game end I know you guys are going home so you had misplaced energy, man. You should have you should have placed the energy in trying to get three points or at least a draw, or at least a draw against Turkey. But you guys go get knocked out by Turkey because they win a two one. So yeah, that was the uh, the basic essence of yesterday's game. Now let's go to the Copa America. Is me, um, hmm. so Argentina beat is what or oh, Chile. In the in the eightieth minute, a go another goal, another late goal from uh, Martinez of Inter Milan. Very good striker. Um, Argentina doesn't look convincing because they're they're scoring late goals, and I mean, they don't look as bright. But 
this is the group stages like I said bro things will have to look as sparkling and enticing on the eyes just points that matter is me so they have six points now they go beat uh who was who, who them they beat um yeah they beat Canada they beat Chile two days ago so they are on they are on sixty which which they which they're automatically through to the quarterfinals they don't have no run of sixty in the Copa America surprising enough I don't even know that operates or happen but they're off to the quarterfinals the next um game was um oh yeah canada go beat panama which is very good i believe you play against panama um yeah canada got three points i'm proud of that because i'm in canada so i'm a support canada i'm i'm supporting two sides in copa america jamaica my beloved country the country that i was born and growing um and canada i'm supporting canada as well that got three points don't worry guys i'm gonna get to jamaica game in a second my, my father, that's gonna be the last thing i'm gonna talk about in this video i'm gonna leave it for last i'm gonna leave the the main thing for last because i'm 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 gonna talk i'm gonna touch on that for a second believe me so the game against um for canada they got the, the three points it was uh, i believe david scored and funnily enough this guy's linked to manchester united he plays for leon and he's linked to manchester united bro we should not be signing this striker. We should be, I don't believe we should be signing David, and that's no disrespect to David. We should be looking to get quality strikers, man. That has played on the top at the top level that can score goals. Hoyland needs that guy. And speaking of Hoyland, Denmark is through to next round with as well with uh Chris and Ericsson. You know, they're on, they're off to the round of sixteen too. So we'll see how that game pans out, man. Yep. This game is looking, the, the Copa America and as and Euro round of sixteen is looking, it looking is looking feasting on the eye quite to see. You look at some of the sides, the games, France against Belgium, my goodness, two sides that can't even score goals in a group stage go kick off. This is a game where, if France finished first. They would have gotten a lower side like a Serbia or a Denmark or one of them sides. But the fact that they're going to finish second in the group means that they're going to have a tough, a, tough to a, a tough opponent. Tough tournament. Of course, a tough tournament. But they're going to have a tough opponent because they finish second place. And they're going to play against uh, Belgium. And Belgium, to be honest, at least, they're looking... Per, per, don't sleep on Belgium. Don't sleep. Belgium has have a lot of good players. Trussard, Lukaku, De Bruyne, um, Tillemans, uh, Doku. Uh, who else? Vertonghen still playing, man. Vertonghen still playing. So, and they have Courtois in goal. So they they have a good. They have a solid side. It's just, so let us not sleep on Belgium. We are also talking about the Copa America. I'm doing theories right now. Copa America, um, which other game? Hmm. I think Mexico lost against, um, is who, who Mexico lost against? Good for them. I want, I would, I would man, you both missed the Mexico beat a couple, uh, what, last week? Last week, Thursday. No, last week, Thursday, didn't play against me. No, some days ago, Mexico go play against, um, Jamaica and try to press the life out of us. I didn't like that one bit. But anyway, they got their come up pins and get beat anyway. But anyway, Let's go to the Jamaican game. So Jamaica go play yesterday against um, Ecuador. Ecuador. Um, I was expecting Jamaica to win this game. To be honest, I'm not saying Ecuador is a walk over, but we do Jamaica. I was expecting Jamaica to at least get a goal against Ecuador and go, you know, different, different out and lock up shop. Now in this game, the referee made some questionable decisions some against jamaica is me because we should have gotten a penalty that was not given but they the ecuadorians got a penalty that should not have been given the bridging put up his hands so bro he wasn't expecting he wasn't even anticipating the ball to come to him it's not like a luis suarez handling in 2010 world cup where the ball coming to his face and go should be told like his volleyball in play the bridging just put up his left hand so and he touched his hand. You know how much time I've seen the ball touch hand so in the penalty box, hand so in the penalty ball touch, hand so in the penalty box, and the penalty is not given. 
But as soon as a bridge in from yard go touch the ball with his uh, with the ball and in hand so uh, his penalty. What's up with that man? What's that about? And if an Ecuadorian player go do that in a box, it's not going to be given. But it's given against us. So it was a questionable decision, man. I didn't like that, man. And I felt bad for the number 22 still. I don't know his name, but I felt bad for him. Um, he was the one that conceded the, the, the penalty. Uh, mistakenly, it was given a penalty and him go score it. Now, let me, let me talk about the first goal I scored against. So this guy, um, the number 10, I believe, the, num the, uh, the number 10, he's what? Well, I'm going to talk about Brazilian game. Um, I'm, I'm all over the place, so you have to see me, but... The game, um, the goal score against us yesterday. That dude, why? <laughs> I, I don't want to criticize our goalkeeper, but why? How is it that they go allow? Dude, I can't see if the game was in hot sun, like the sun a beat up on head, and you can't even see where the ball going. I ain't look up, so you have to say, Rot, me can't even see where the ball go, where the ball. The, like the sun in your eyes, but the ball, dude, this afternoon, man, a, a six o'clock kickoff game, you know. And this bridging was scoring in the what the first 30 minutes or something or first 20. That shouldn't have scored, man. This bridging was even going for goal. He was just kicking it, you know, kicking it and insular, you know, just hit and hope, trying to find someone in the box, and he, he found the back of the net instead. That shouldn't <laughs> that shouldn't have scored, man. But I think that goal deflated us, but let me talk about the coach. I know, I know I'm going to be all over. But let me talk about the coach. This coach will not get the best out of um, the Jamaican squad. Number one, he's not Jamaican, so he doesn't know how we roll. Like, we don't, we, dude, man, Jamaicans, you, you may seem like a decent coach, but if the Jamaican bridging them don't, don't, you know, bond with you, you ain't gonna have no bond with us, man. You don't go have no bond with us. And secondly, to, to to add salt to injury, this Bridgin sitting down like his side is leading 3 0. He's not on the sideline like the Bridgin that look like everything uh, for Ecuador as the manager with his hand folded up and watching with a poker face. You see me, this Bridgin sitting down and like contemplating and say, What have I got myself into? Him just, him just watching the game. He's not talking to his players, he's not communicating with his players. Ah, because the players don't side with the manager. He knows that. And this rubbish football, man, just kicking it out. Wow, dude, man, where's, we don't have no outlet. When, we look, when, we're, when we're trying to counter-attack, where's the outlet? The right back? The right back ain't no outlet. The right back is the friendly. We need attacking wingers, man. Where's the Murray Gray? Where's the Murray Gray? The Murray Gray and... and uh, and a couple of other guys that I don't know. I don't know their names in this squad, but why 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 do you have an outlet player? What kind of football are you trying to run around here, so man? Why you go use An Antonio, big old Antonio as outlet? Antonio is not that fast. Antonio is not slow, but he's not fast enough to be our outlet, man. That shouldn't have that shouldn't be. Watch how Jamaica play. We can't even hold on to the ball for 10 seconds. We can't even knock the ball for 10 seconds. Good. We, lo we lose the ball less than 10 seconds. And we'll give it to the opponent. And then we'll, uh, they go, they go attack us. We don't have good techie players in the squad, man. We don't. We can't hold on to the ball. Our football awareness is non-existent, man. Liam Bailey will get suspended. Why is it that they go suspend Liam Bailey on the day of our second match in the group stage of the Copa America? What kind of message is that sending? Well, you don't think that's going to demoralize the players? Although some of the players don't somewhat rate or Bailey acting because, you know, Bailey moving like he's Lionel Messi, that he's the main man for this squad and the main man supposed to take his break. So I'm making him wait until after the game, man. You don't think that's going to affect the result, which... In a sense, it did. In a sense, it did. I'm not saying it's the main reason we lost, cause that's not reason we lost, but that's bad timing, man. That you should have had better timing than that. You you, you, no, man. Come on, man. And again, this coach don't get us, man. This coach does not get us. 
You have centre back taking throw ins. You have centre back taking corners. What's up with that, man? What kind what kind of shop you're running around you so? What's up with that? Uh, uh, ideally, you'd want the centre box to be in the box and try to score it up. But it's bridging taking corner and putting crosses in the box. What kind of football is Why You're trying to be the second coming to you and cry for no. You're trying to invent your way of football. You can't do that, man. So what if they, what, what if you go lose what if you go lose possession of the ball and you're counter attacking us? Where's the centre box? What if forwards go be the the falling centre box now? Cause see. No, some person will say, well, Jamaica don't, no, no disrespect to Jamaica, but Jamaica don't have the quality to play toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ecuador. I'm not saying we play toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, -to -toe with Ecuador because they're going to skin us, but the fact is we didn't play good football, man. We looked very defensive. They make Jose Marino look like he played good football back in his heyday, and Jose Marino don't play good football. So this bridging, man, as, as coach... He doesn't get us, man. Let's be real with it, Bridging. He's 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 not one of us. You don't understand us. You don't understand how how we grow. You don't get us like that. So is he? How is he going? So how is he going to become relatable to the players then? And we can relate to him, and he can relate to us. But he's our coach. How we go respect him? You know we can respect him on his past achievements on what he's doing with Iceland. But come on, man. This is not Iceland. This is Jamaica, man. This is Jamaica, so when leave your comments on below in the comment section. I've been ranting for twenty six minutes. Leave your comments on below in the comment section on all of these results that I've gone through. Um, yes, yeah, so Jamaica man, we have we have suffered two losses in the group stage, and we're on the verge of elimination. Our our last game is against Venezuela, if I'm not mistaken. We have. We should be beating uh, Venezuela. I'm not saying we should play convincingly like it's Barcelona in 2011, but we can still beat Venezuela. And to be honest, Venezuela can beat us. So it's one of them games where it's like a dog eat dog. We can beat you, you can beat us, but we have to make sure so we beat them on the day. And if we go score a goal first, man, this is where I'm going to go. This is where I'm going to say, play the... Play lock shop football all you want. Go ultra defensive if you're a FIFA fan. Defend all that, that one goal. Go get it. Because we need these three points. We need these three points. If we go play, if we're playing against Venezuela. Our defense is solid. For the most part. But we do, we, we still have things to work on, man. Our football. Our football control needs to work on, man. The way we play football needs to be worked on. And this is where I give uh, Guardiola more praise, although I shouldn't because I'm a, Man I'm a Manchester United supporter. And when you're a Manchester United supporter, you don't look the other way to your, to your ops because Man City is an op. But the fact is this, man. As physical as Jamaican players are, you see what Mexico beat us? Mexico do have much uh, physical players. And the fact that they pressed the life out of us in the first 20 minutes or in the first half, they had us shook. You see me? We can't, we couldn't, we, we, them style flows, man. We look like, them, we, shake, we shook like leaf of all of our country. We couldn't even come off, we couldn't even come out of our first, we couldn't even come out of our own half to even attack. That's how aggressive they were playing against us. We big and bulky. So we can't run rings around them. They were running rings around us. Is me, same thing against Ecuador. Same thing against Ecuador. They press. I wouldn't say they press life out of us, but when they're knocking ball, we can't. We, like we can't touch them. And if we touch them, it's like a foul given against us. Like I said, bro, questionable decisions were made against us, man. That was not supposed to be made. But you got a goal, very good goal from uh, Antonio on his left foot. Hit the post, but went in. But you know, we lost three one on the day yesterday. It wasn't a good uh, uh, result or a good performance, but at least we go get a goal, bro. As consolation prize, we go get a goal. Is me so you can't say we go home 
with our empty hands like we, we, we empty hand we go, we go home we get a goal although that's not saying much but we fight for the goal and secondly that first goal t- shouldn't even have scored and secondly the penalty should not have even been given so it wasn't a bad result we could have won that game against Ecuador but we didn't we made some some 100 million uh, transfer midfielder from Chelsea look like he was Clarence Seedorf in that midfield. He's not no Clarence Seedorf, man. Oh, but we made him look that way. We made him look that way. And if he was playing some, against some decent side, he would look trash. But the fact that we make him look good and give this Bridget man the match <laughs> can't be. So anyway, we move to our next game. Last thing I wanted to say, I should have said this before the game, or at 30 minutes, I need to finish right now. Last game, Brazil against whoever them play. Is who, oh, is who, is who Brazil play? I can't even remember. Col- oh, Colombia, Colombia won their game 2 1 against whoever them play. But whoever uh, 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 play against Brazil, man, held them out to a 0 0 draw. Brazil should have won that game. Their, ch- their chances. The number 20 that came on, he looks sparkling, but this bridging man can't even finish his dinner. This bridging taking shot from wide angles, man. Taking what and he's a good dribbler. He's he's dribble past players, but you know, and created a few chances, but the finishing man, the finishing was the finishing touch that was missing in that game. That's why they never they never scored no goal. Vicinos Jr. had chances, uh Rod, Rodrigo. Being a crybaby, man, why are you crying, man? Get up, man. Why, why are you crying for? Any contact me to your drop on the floor, sir? Man, get up, man. What am to you? So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> and US go in them, ga- them, them game too, although I don't care about US, although they're playing today, but, yeah, so, yes, you know, that's, that's how the Copa America is looking right now, along with the Euros. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel, man. And this year, like I said, bro, this coach of Jamaica needs to go and not be coach of Jamaica. I don't like this football that he's, he's trying to play, bro. This bridge is moving like a pussy, bro. It's me. It's just... <laughs> the players are being stifled. It's like this bridge is moving like uh what's his name again sean De- dude sean dice play, play sean dice sean dice plays better football at burnley when he was burnley manager and plays b- better football at everton better than his bridging for jamaica the man will tell you that yeah so if 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 a guy like sean dice playing better football than you you know say football is garbage it's trash I yesterday tiss you, man. It's trash. Let it go. Throw it away. It's me. But anyway, I'm done. I'm done ranting. It's an early morning, so I don't want to mess up the move for the rest of the day. But comment down below. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Or like and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, brothers, out. I'm out.